you don't think this believe. sort of thing is happening at Nova stations everywhere? That's what they get for being jacked into an intersystem network. Or maybe what happens when one gets disconnected from it. Intruders in sea junctions! Like we're fighting our way out! Allowing us to free our body! Oh, you friends! Feel my wrath! So much for our deserted station! So much for paying our fine and leaving! This is not where I thought this day was going. Is there any way for us to track where the hope went? Hey, you said we needed to go up, right? Never thought I'd be fighting Novacor again. They are no longer Novacor. Yeah, this don't count. But who or what are they? What's with that glowing? For once, let's keep our noses out of it. Secure the station. Hey, we can get through here. You'll fit. Just suck it in. Maybe Corel took her ship back to Xandar to report. Look. Are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. He's a sorcerer. Behold the magic flowing through the altar. There's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova, no fine. No problem. We should probably tell someone. Yeah, tell it to your diary. Come on, down here. How do you know? I don't. I'm just putting distance between us and those whack drops. This door's locked. I said down here. Good of you to join us. What's the harm in checking? What's the harm? Oh, let's just pay our fine. Let's. So, you think? Yeah, I'll deal with the door. Someone's got to get us out of here. Urge the faithless! Oh, Mark and Scott! Can nothing go easy? Drax, toss it! Another brave Novacore soldier! No! That's rush, big guy! So who's boss! This hardly seems fair! So fight dirty! Both 
This position is strategically compromised! Let's bring them down to our level! Past time someone got stabbed! I'm on it! Man, and I thought normal Centurions were bad! Enough already! You have to kill this guy! You should have trusted the Ronin's instincts! A little late for that now! shall regret this insult. Let's go! me every step of the way I'm not there let's go I wasn't second-guessing I'm just sure these doors have been barricaded it means someone at least tried to resist bad lot of good it did them we don't know that there could still be others on the station or maybe those were the survivors who fled on the Hallows Hope were we in the same elevator those Nova barely got a shot off before they were gunned down by them glowy ones uh is that Let's just pretend we didn't see that. So, let's flark and go already! All right, hanging here we come. But the flark with that docking number. Are you serious? You're my new favorite person, Buckley. No, not me. Where's the Come to Papa. What's up? Can you override it? All right, release the clamps and don't die. Please 
guys with my one down! Shoot the clamps! I can do this! I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because <sighs> that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. You mean a rock in a hard place? Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? You mean solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. 
I thought paying her fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacor has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacor if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacor officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. Quill, seriously? Just make it fast, okay? Time to go. Oh, and, uh, Flark you, by the way. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket. What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill. Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Can't believe Quill's such a bootlicker. What's with his obsession with bending over for Novacor? Respect them? Please. All the blue flak nards know how to do is arrest people trying to make a living and slap them with scut bugging fines. I am good. Nope, it's that simple, and Quill still wants to pay up. After all we've done for him. So those coordinates. They're in your console. Got it. Assassin! Calm down! I'm just going to the bathroom. I am not agitated. You just looked at me like you wanted to stab me. My apologies. I have been told I have an angry thinking face. Did Rocket say that? No, it was Hovat, my late wife. Oh. Sorry. She used to compliment my contemplative scowls. She found them very arousing. Alright, I'm out of here. Mora, what are you doing with my toothbrush? Toothbrush? I thought it was a nail brush. It's a toothbrush for cleaning teeth. You put my nail brush in your mouth? Demora! Nowhere here we come. Nowhere. Last spaceport on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? 
Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot. Did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. You wouldn't know Rocket's tracker-removing guy by any chance. Nope. Sorry. Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. I hope Nowhere's chief of security will intervene to assist Novacor, the station we visited. It perturbs me still. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. believe us like I said we go way back plus he's probably already heard about what's happening all we do is confirm the rumor maybe he'll even give us a reward if I were rocket where would I be you are not he was much shorter and covered in fur I mean hypothetically you would have lived a completely different life. And You're gonna pull your back and nothing like that. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. Hmm. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's got to be someone shady enough in the market to help. Maybe. The Cosmo deals with Novacore all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. Well, How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there. I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? Straight through the market. You can't miss it. Be good to see Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope, he met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave, and it befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right, heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. We might even come out ahead on this. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. They have fortune tellers on Earth, Peter Quill. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. 
soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. <laughs> Mantis, what are you... Do you still have those suicide allergies? What? No. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Starlord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do a thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh, oh you fool. No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Where the Kotati did he wrote? The broken promise of all holy men we did. You okay? Oh, hey, Gamora! You look less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah, uh, fuck. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be, or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy, green meanie. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay, you are being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always. Don't you start eyeballing me? I totally do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. So, you want us to bring them back here? Not necessary. Transport will be waiting once you've captured the target. That'll work. We'll be in touch. Ah, uh, let's go, Groot. <laughs> What's the big idea, man? Think you got me confused with somebody else, pal? Come on, Rocket, let's talk about this. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? You can't just quit. We need you. Oh, well, uh, I don't need you. Find some other sucker to keep your shit together. You're more than just... I know that blonde mop anywhere. Need to quit. Uh, actually, maybe we can stick around for a bit. Last time I see you, you was running away from Mordidia. With your bridges. Off and done. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready. What the? I don't know what's going on here. But I thought we was friends, Eta. Or did you forget about me? What? <laughs> no, man, of course, of 
Of course we remember you, right, Gamora? Uh, yeah. You and Peter fought in the war together? What? I never fought in no wars. And who the hell is Gamora? Uh, the most dangerous woman in the galaxy? You never heard of her? You need an agent. You don't remember, Eater? You and me! Storm Raiders! Together till the end! What is he talking about? Oh, oh, oh! It, it, it's a song, right? It is? Of course it's a song! The one that was playing when Peter and me made our unbreakable blood oath. We did? Unbreakable blood oath? That is a serious commitment, Peter Quill. Whoa, no, 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 whoa, whoa, wait, 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 of course, I, I remember. Y you, me, uh, the, the, the music. Tells you what, Peter. How about you and me? Storm ride together! One. More. Time. Here we go! You, uh... Oh, you want to sing a song? <laughs> Together till the end, gotta finish the fight! Cause this storm gonna rain till the end of the night! Come on, Lita! Together! Bartender, get me a cocktail stick. I need to poke my ears out. <laughs> Come on, man. What? Let's sing the next line. More! Together till the end, now we look to the sky. Lightning strikes twice, now we toss to the fly. Sing with me, Vita. Driving through, through the pour and rain. For Flark's sake, let's go, Groot. Good time, good time, good time! You running the ravages now? I hear Yondu's doing time in the kill. <laughs> Me? Me? No, I, I got a new crew now. You? Still doing that, uh, thing you do? No, sorry. Novacor, now my partner on Molivia. <laughs> but that's okay. I, uh, got a new business partner now. Into animal husbandry, you can say. Huh? So, ain't no animal gonna have no husbands after she's through with them. Which reminds me, I best be going. Oh, really? That's too bad. Ah, well, listen, Eater. I uh, want to apologize for almost shooting you. Oh, <laughs> you weren't actually going to shoot me? Oh, I would have uh, right in the head. Oh. But that's not the way to treat a storm rider, is it? Right, so. I got you this instead. Uh, what is it? The ticket for Collector's Emporium. Yeah, I bought it thinking I'd have time to go and check out the oddities. Wow, thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. And remember.
Okay. Bye. Nice one, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. Where's Rocket? The rodent left the bar once he realized you would not be killed. <sighs> Great. Some friends, Peter. You said it. But at least you have them. I I was uh -huh. Can we just have a moment? Tell the others and I slit your throat. And there she is. You want to know a secret? I'm just an illusion. A specter. I'm not really here. I couldn't tell. You look real enough to me. I'm telling you. I thought I was really bad. Place brings back memories. Something. You... <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What the heck was that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. Good afternoon, Captain Todd. Are the midway? Ready to try your luck, or is it skill? Couldn't be simpler. Find the bow, win the pariahs. What do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain, Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No griff, no grap, no cheats, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low stakes game just to prove that I'm on the up What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Fine. I'm in, but don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain, not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See, the ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right, the cup's out. Uh, the middle one. Well, I'll be, you got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, congratulations. You got a sharp pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See, my game's on the level and plumb true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. I guess you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Uh, I better not. I'm not feeling very lucky right now. My team, my friends, they... Sorry to hear that, Captain. Can't really help you there, but I can offer you a bit of destruction. Terran detected. was supposed to wait here for me, but, uh, they must already be inside. Yes, we do, uh, not me. Okay. Looks like you've got a lot of parts here. Ooh, just about everything. <laughs> Mostly. Refurbished, of course. Hard to get new equipment since the war. Well... You looking for something particular? I wonder if you have something I could use to remove, uh... Nova Corps Disabler. Uh, 7, 8, 12 series. 2G2, maybe? Ah, nope. That one's decommissioned. I know. I got something that should work no matter.
matter what. And you're sure this will remove the disabler? It'll do exactly what it's supposed to. That's great. Thanks. Amazing, as always. You think you'll actually win? No, really. Are you serious? You want to break it? This place must be good. Drax, bud. Is everything all right? You believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. So, uh, this is the thing you had to do? Come to the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memory of my family. They died without meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom when the, uh, Shatara came. She also died for no reason. They just... just shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, we believe that in order to reach Ultaf, one must lead a life filled with purpose. Failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. So that's why you come up here. Yes. To feel close to them. Speak to them. Perhaps you think that sounds foolish. No, no. Not at all. You know, on Earth, 
A lot of people think that good people go to heaven. They are reunited with their loved ones when they die. This heaven sounds pleasant. Yeah, it does. Thinking of her there, my mom, in heaven, got me halfway through the war. That and my hate for the Shatari who imprisoned me. Ah, uh, you desired revenge. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. When Thanos murdered my family, for a long time I believed that their wasted lives would be redeemed if I took revenge on him. But then I realized Thanos cannot be killed. But you did kill him. Propaganda, Peter Quill. Spread to quell fears after the war. The fabric of my being, I know he still lives. If you do not mind, Peter Quill, I would like to be left alone now. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, man. Peter Quill. Yeah. I hope your mother found her way to heaven. I hope Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu, nowhere security. Super official. Go other way, Ali, Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo, not in Dower. He out there, Star Lord, in Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo prison. You choose. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure. Not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay. Just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team. If I can find them. Are you afraid, Peter Quill? I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. Cosmo? That you? Oh, I hate mazes. 
Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. Look at you, Flarkin' Hume. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Flark! I give myself a heart attack. What we got here. Watch it, Star Lord. And what's a filthy scut stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that, we might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys, wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him! We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, <laughs> uh lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die. Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Dead. <laughs> uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hellbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady H. Uh, the triple. Uh, I'll, I'll triple it. Yeah, now, right. If I said I was sorry, get over here. We can collect the pound. It's boot party time. Maybe we sit down, have a choga dog, start this over. Uh, Lady H told us how much you babble. Get drunk, man. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! Here. No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks, but we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> 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 Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! Put them off, Tamora! This won't hurt! Much! I knew something was up from the start! Gotta charge the Terran! Nice of you to show up, Tamora! 
fits the description, she's gonna pay for that kick. One, Peter, let me end it. My blade will not be silent, murderess. Call me that again and I'll murder you. I am not the enemy, traitor. Guys, guys, chill out. Stop fighting each other. We'll win this together. Just focus on the enemy in front of us. Chill out and share the winning with all of us. So who's with me? Nice one, Peter! Fools do not realize their error. Courtesy of Lady Angel. That armor comes up whenever they're close. <laughs> Look out, Peter! Order up! They're getting ready! Stop the turn. This one is trying for punishment. Let's make him feel it! Drax! Spinza! No mercy! Almost got the band back together! What the? Peter! What is happening? It's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. 
Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king. Of an entire world. Called Spartax. Far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. Oh, <laughs> 